Hi everyone, I'm Laura from Yoga Kali and today I'm reviewing Nature Pro Yoga Mat from Union Yoga. So if you've never tried Koryuk Yoga Mat before, I strongly suggest that you do because this is hands down one of the best materials for all things yoga. Not only it's sturdy, antimicrobial and easy to handle, it's also one of the most eco-friendly options out there. The production of cork doesn't require cutting down trees and the bark is harvested from a um, cork oak tree every nine years. And in fact, it regenerates itself while the tree continues to absorb CO2. Amazing! Cork is 100% non-toxic. It is biodegradable, so you can keep a peace of mind about what happens to your mat when you retire. Cork is a great material for um, hot yoga classes, Bikram, uh, fast vinyasa classes, because cork releases this substance called subarine. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, subarine and it gets grippier the wetter it gets. The cork for this specific mat was harvested in Portugal. This is also a big plus because Union Yoga is based in Spain, which means that the cork, the raw materials and the, the mat itself was made in Portugal, by the way. So the mat doesn't have to travel far to get to the consumer and less transportation means less emissions, so better for our environment. First impression on my yoga mat was that, that it smells good. <laughs> The mat arrived in a carton box with no plastic whatsoever. So I really like the material of Nature Pro. The top layer is made of Portuguese sourced cork and the bottom layer here is recycled natural rubber mixed with ground cork. This bottom layer looks like a foam and it's very cushy, it's 4 millimeters in thickness and it creates a really nice cushion for joints. Um, I have pretty sore knees so this 4 millimeters just feels amazing. So I especially love the springiness of the bottom layer and uh, if you're getting into forearm plank or even low lunge when you have to keep your lower knee on the mat for a long time it creates a really cushy nice comfortable surface without compromising your stability in poses i would previously think that four millimeters is a little bit too cushy for balancing postures but it turns out that it's not it can be pretty comfortable it also has a pretty good insulation properties so if you're practicing on a tile or or some kind of cold surface. This yoga mat is gonna be pretty good for this. I did try Nature Pro on different surfaces, wood, tile, concrete, grass. This is probably a mat for indoor practice. While it is very nice and springy on the hard floor, and when you put it on the grass, um, it was a little bit too soft for me. Like the mat wouldn't just slide flat. I was struggling to balance, to be honest. Regarding the grip, cork yoga mats have to be wet to be grippy. So the general advice is to dab the yoga mat with a little bit of water before working out to increase the grip. Ideally, you would have to carry the water around with you if you would like to take it somewhere. But I noticed that uh, this yoga mat has a pretty good dry grip. It's not perfect, like occasionally my foot would slide in the downward dog or you know, my hand would just move a little bit but compared to, I would say even to compare to normal PVC mat which is not broken in the grip is much better so another cool thing about nature pro is that it's very very lightweight it weights a little bit more than one kilo like 1.5 three kilos so it's very easy to tote around to and from the yoga studio the only issue with portability that i had is that this mat just wouldn't stay rolled so you need a strap or something like that to keep your mat rolled or you need a special bag for yoga mat which are like designed like a tube so you would put it inside and it would stay Put. Before I had my first yoga mat, I always thought that these are very high maintenance mats. Mostly because core gets so grippy when wet and I saw that it absorbs all the moisture, all the sweat and I was like, how in the world are you supposed to clean that? I mean, who has time to clean those mats, right? Uh, 
Well, I was never so wrong. Turns out, this substance, suberin, that the cork releases, it makes the mat impermeable to water and sweat and dirt and the mat basically cleans itself and it's antimicrobial so you don't have to worry about um, your mat getting sweaty. I've been using this mat for um, more than a month. I think I got it like at the end of December and now it's almost been February and it's still not sweaty and trust me I sweated buckets on it because I was doing yoga, I was doing uh, high intensity training exercises on it. So if you want to clean this yoga mat you don't have to do anything. <laughs> well probably not anything but it just, from time to time you just wipe it with a damp cloth on the surface you can put a little bit of lemon or vinegar into the water for a deeper clean. After more than a month of usage I don't see any issues with the topper, with the cork topper of this yoga mask. So there's no flaking, no creases. I mean, I've folded it many times like this, which I probably shouldn't do with cork yoga mask. It leaves a little bit of creases which disappear within a few minutes, but generally no problem whatsoever. There is one issue though with the bottom. So I, uh, wait, I will show you here. Oh, my background is falling apart. I see uh, a little bit of scratches, a few breaks, probably from the times I took this yoga mat outside. So in my opinion, this is a indoor mat because this foamy bottom is not made for the outside world. When you go to the yoga website, there is a nice uh, promo video of a girl taking a nature pro yoga mat outside of rocks to practice. I'm telling you, bad idea. This foamy recycled natural rubber is just not gonna handle it and um, by the way it can't handle heat and sun so don't leave it with the bottom up on the sun because it's just gonna melt i'm a little bit disappointed that you can't take it outside because the mat is so lightweight and i was hoping to take it to the beach um in summer but i live in the area where we have almost no sandy beaches and they're only pebbles so I wouldn't take this yoga mat. Another thing I like about Nature Pre Yoga Mat is the minimalist design. It's a basic no frill yoga mat. At the same time it has a very nice cork texture which, uh, which looks great on the floor in, in the room. In general I enjoyed using Nature Pro Yoga Mat in my yoga practice in my exercise routine. Three things I like most. First one is cushion versus stability balance. So if you're used to practicing on a very thin yoga mat, like two millimeters, stretching on natural core yoga mat is like stretching on clouds. The second one is good grip. It doesn't matter whether your hands are wet or dry, Nature Pro offers pretty good traction in most of the situation. And the third one is eco-friendliness, so the mat is non-toxic, it's biodegradable and it uses recycled, it uses natural and recycled materials. What could be improved is the bottom foam layer. I love that it's made of recycled natural rubber, but at the same time I feel like it's too fragile it's not made for outdoor use. But if you're looking for a basic work yoga mat for indoor practice, um, if you prefer sweaty styles of yoga like hot yoga or Bikram, if you have sensitive joints and you like good cushion, then Nature Pro is probably gonna be a very good choice for you. And if you want to read more about the brand, I'm gonna link to their website in the description below. I also have a full-length review of a Nature Pro Yoga mat from Union Yoga on my blog yogakali.com and I will link to it below. And if you have any questions about this specific yoga mat or about Union Yoga brand, don't be shy, leave a comment below, write me an email, I'm always happy to read emails from you. If you find this video useful and you want to see more of me, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching!